integrate dx over tan x plus cotangent x. Let's try to work it out. Solution. So it doesn't appear um, that there is an obvious u substitution. And we have tangent and cotangent. So one way to approach this, perhaps, is to write everything in terms of sine and cosine. So let's try to do that first. So let's rewrite this as the integral of 1 over, first I'll write it like this, tan x plus cotangent x dx. It's the same thing uh, that we have up here. By the way, this is from the uh, MIT uh, qualifying exam for their integration B uh, 2018. So this is equal to the integral of, so it's 1 over, and so tangent is sine over cosine. So sine x over cosine x. And then cotangent is um, cosine x over sine x. And then we, here we have the dx. I'm going to put the dx over here uh, because we're going to need the room here for the next step. So normally, uh, one way to proceed now is to perform the addition. But there's an easier way. Instead of performing the addition, we can clear the fraction on the bottom. So to do that, we can multiply the bottom by, let's see, we need to get rid of the cosine and the sine. So we need a cosine and a sine. But we can't just multiply by that. We have to multiply by 1. So we have to put it upstairs also. And now this is where the magic is going to happen. So this is equal to the integral of. So in the numerator, we simply get cosine x sine x. In the denominator, we're going, we're going to distribute the cosine x sine x. Let's see. So cosine x sine x times this piece here, the cosine will cancel. And so we're left with sine times sine. So sine squared. Beautiful. Plus. And then this times this, the sine will cancel. So we're left with cosine times cosine. So cosine squared. Beautiful stuff. And we have the dx. So now this is equal to, well, this is the number one identity in all of trigonometry, right? That's equal to 1. So this is equal to 1. So it just goes away. So we have cosine x, sine x dx. And this integral is pretty easy. Um, we can let u be cosine, or we can let u be sine. I'll let u be cosine, just simply because the derivative of sine is cosine, and there's no um, annoying negative sine to deal with. So we'll let u be equal to uh, sine. And so its derivative uh, is cosine x dx. Kind of a cool problem. Um, so this is our u here. Our sine is our u. And everything that's left over is du. So this becomes u du. And now it's easy, right? We just use the power rule. There's a 1 there, so it's u squared over 2 plus our constant in integration c. And so that's equal to um, sine squared of x, right? Because u is sine over 2 plus our constant c. So kind of an interesting problem. Um, when I first saw it, I thought, wow, there's no u sub, so what do I do? And so immediately I went to this. And then I started to perform the addition, but I thought, you know what? Instead of adding here, we can use this clever trick. It saves some time. Uh, we just eliminate the fractions, and it leads us to the correct answer. So um, I hope that helped. That's it.